So we're talking about differences that are not just statistically significant, but we're talking about differences that are life-changing. If you don't do well in school, a couple of things can happen to you. One, you're asked to repeat a grade. You're usually very embarrassed by that. You hang your head. Uh, if you don't go down that route, you're likely to be placed in special education. This is 15 years after the program starts. This is the last year before kids can drop out of high school legally. And what you see is that by age 15, the likelihood of being retained in grade for these very high-risk children is cut by half. And the likelihood of going into special education is cut by 75%. As a result of early education preparing children to do what's going to be asked of them when they hit kindergarten. We also know that all the way through elementary school, junior high, and high school, that these differences in intelligence persist. Children who had the early childhood education do better in reading and math all the way out through uh, age 21. They are more likely to believe that their efforts are what account for their success. As a matter of fact, children are, who get a, a good early childhood education are more likely to stay in school, graduate from high school, go to college. They are four times more likely to complete a college degree. They are more likely as adults to be employed full time, to earn more money, to be in more prestigious jobs and less likely to get pregnant as a teen, to uh, smoke or use drugs, to feel mental depression. And in addition to those benefits to the individual children who participated, there was a benefit to their mothers in that the children who went to the Child Development Center had mothers who were more likely to go back to school complete high school, get some high school education, and by the time their children went to kindergarten, they were more likely to be employed, employed full time, making more money, and in more prestigious occupations. So you see an intergenerational effect. Providing care for one also has benefits for uh, the adults.